I apologize, you guys. I forgot to put myself up on the screen. Hello, hello. What's up, everybody? I know we were just live just a minute ago, but then I seen this on Twitter, and I was all like, yo, it's crazy how we draw the comparisons and, you know, the parallels between Kim Porter and Cassie. Now, I do want to say Kim Porter had never came forward and said any abuse went on, but we heard from... Uh, Donald Trump Jr., who said his ex-wife was afraid of Diddy. We've heard from Albie Shore saying that Kim said uh, she was afraid and he told her to run to the FBI. Then we said, oh, she was running for something. And he said, contact the FBI. And now we're he hearing from Cola Booth. Now, a lot of people don't know who Cola Booth is. She is a Sudanese woman who was adopted um, to Washington, D.C. by an American family. But she was, her story is that she was Bin Laden's mistress. Yeah, his mistress. And that's a whole different other story. But she came out on Twitter and basically put the whole situation on blast. Now, she did say Cassie was a victim. However, she also made comparisons like, this is not anything compared to what he had to make her, you know, what he had Kim put through and things that he made her do, it's disturbing. So I do want to say trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning. Um, it's going to be one of those days. It's going to be a lot, you guys. I'm telling you, it's going to be a lot going on. Uh, let me go ahead and pull up what she said first. So this is from Cola's Twitter. She said, D the Diddy thing is not a surprise, but it makes me remember the horrible way he treated my friend, Kim Porter, and how I've always silently held him responsible for her young death. All right, be Kim. Then she continues, I feel bad for Cassie getting beat up like that, but I still remember when Cassie allowed herself to be used racially against Kim Porter as Diddy humiliated, uh, humiliated, beat, and repeat Kim for years. Uh, Y'all have always hated me for talking real about these men, but they deserve it. Mm. Mm. And you know, and what Cola is saying, that's not the first time I've ever heard of you know, Cassie being used as the younger, light-skinned, prettier girl and stuff like that. And mind you, Kim Porter is beautiful, so that's without a question. Um, but she was younger, and he used that against Kim and made her feel like nothing. And she was just ba basically uh, the baby carrier, you know. Um, that's not the first time I heard that. So then she continues... She said, uh, what y'all saw in the video, Diddy beating Cassie was nothing. We'll never forget the time he tried to make Kim Porter lick. Ugh. Again, trigger warning. I'm going to read that over again. We'll never forget the time he tried to make Kim Porter lick Cassie's tampon, always using Kim's race as a put down. You guys don't know the half of, uh, of what what, uh, what women uh, go through with famous and powerful men. Be they rappers, be they Bin Laden, be they actors. Y'all have no idea. And you always demonize the woman, uh, the women. I, again, these are claims made by Cola. However, I've always wondered, did he ever try to get Kim and Cassie to do something to each other? You know, perform acts with each other. I've always wondered that. And I never wanted to be the one to put it out there, but I always wondered, let me put myself back on camera, if they, if he tried to get them to do things and, you know, situations and stuff like that. Y'all know what I'm alluding to, right? And that is fucking disgusting. If this is true, again, I have to say allegedly, but if this is true, that is fucking disgusting. Um, Cola continues. She says, are you effing kidding me? He beat the ish out of, uh, out of Kim Porter. 
why do y'all think I was so hard on on these damn uh, men back in the day, always cussing them out? I wrote an article attacking Diddy. Y'all always thought I was lying. Oh my God, oh my God, there is no hope for women in our communities. Now, the reason why she posted that is because she was getting some pushback. And a lot of people kind of take things that Cola say with a grain of salt. They don't believe the story about her being Bin Laden's mistress and stuff like that. Uh, there's still some discrepancies with certain things that she has said about people in the industry. Um, I just don't feel she has any reason to lie about the things that happened to Kim. I think because Kim has never said anything publicly, we've always been able to say, oh, well, we don't know for a fact. We don't know. We don't know. But the way we seen Diddy treat Cassie in that video, that wasn't a one-time thing. And granted, she's not the only one. We've heard stories about how he broke Kim's nose and he had to fly in a doctor to fix her nose. We've heard that story. Kim had just had her twins, you know, the two girls. Kim had just had her twins, and then he left Kim and then went on with Cassie. And thank you guys for being here as well, too. Make sure you guys hit that like button as you come in the room. Hey, AT2 um, in chat. Uh, totally disgusting. Kicking. Yeah. Totally disgusting. Totally. What's up, Cammy? What's up, uh, Queen Keish? What's up, everybody? Thank y'all for coming in. What's up, Jelly? Right. And it always was suspicious how Kim, uh, when Kim passed away, the Corey Gamble guy, you know, Chris Jenner's boyfriend or whatever, he was there. And I guess they grew up together in Georgia, so that's the connection, but yeah, that that was weird to me. Kimora was there, which we know Kimora and Kim were friends. Um, of course, Diddy was there. Um, just her whole death and everything that happened surrounding it has never felt right at all. It always felt that something was wrong with it. And I don't think that woman was ever treated the way she was supposed to be treated. And Diddy saying he has regrets and he should have married her and stuff like that? Bull. That's bullshit. That's his own internal guilt. And for, for him to give her those Mother Day shout-outs and, you know, those birthday shout-outs and stuff like that, he don't actually care. He never cared. That man literally only cares about himself. Everybody else is just a pawn or a tool. Now, I mean, granted, there's no footage of him doing what he did to Cassie on film, but we can just imagine all the women that he have been with, similar situations. What's up, Blessings? Thank you for being here. What's up, Love Jones? Thank you for being here. Mm-hmm. I can't even imagine the horrific thing she's been through. What's up, Quentin? Thank you for being here. Um, again, for those of you just coming in the room, I'm gonna go ahead and read off the tweets right now. So this is from Cola Booth. She said, uh, the Diddy thing is not a surprise, but, but it makes me uh, remember the horrible way he treated my friend, Kim Porter, and how I've always silently held him responsible for her young death. R.I.P. Kim. She continues, I feel bad for Cassie uh, getting beat up like that, but I still remember when Cassie allowed herself to be used racially against Kim Porter as Diddy humiliated, beat, and repeat Kim for years. Y'all have always hated me for talking real about these men, but they deserve it. And then trigger warning, what y'all saw in the video of Diddy beating Cassie was nothing. We'll never forget the time he tried to make Kim Porter lick Cassie's tampon 
always using Kim's race as a put down. You guys don't know the half of what women go through with famous and powerful men. Be, ra be they rappers, be they Bin Laden, be they actors, y'all have no idea. And you always demonize the women, always. And then when she started getting pushed back and people said that she was lying, she said, are you effing kidding me? He beat the ish out of Kim. Why do y'all think I, saw, uh, I was so hard on these damn men back in the day, always cussing them out? I wrote an article attacking Diddy Y'all always thought I was lying. Oh my God, oh my God. There is no hope for women in our communities. Now, I was trying I was trying to find her article that she wrote on Diddy, and I could not find it. I don't know where it was published at, but I wasn't able to locate it because I would love to see what she said beforehand, before all this came out. Uh, what's up, Denitria? Thank you for holding it down for the mods. Yeah. Yeah, it was, I'm just seeing your comments now. Yeah, disgusting, nasty. And remember, not everything is sexual when it comes to these situations. It's almost like embarrassment or humiliation and I can control you and make you do things. This explains the freak offs that we, he was having with Cassie. Um, so even though I have to say allegedly what Cola is saying is alleged, I can see it happening. I'm going to embarrass you and make you do something that, you know, you don't want to do. I can see that. And also, too, did Kim also try to get away from Diddy? I mean, luckily, she was able to get away from Diddy, but was she actually able to? I mean, you've seen them take pictures together. They had to do the family thing. Even when they weren't technically together, they were probably still together. Again, Diddy doesn't really call these women his girlfriends or his woman because there's multiple. He has harem of women that he has, you know? There's multiple women at one time. It's never just one. So you never really know. Um, for those of you who didn't see the video earlier that CNN dropped, I'm going to go ahead and play it for you guys. I'm just going to do it one time here, and that's it. Again, like I said, that definitely wasn't the only time, you know. And like Jelly had said on the other show, like, it probably was worse than what we've seen. That's only one example, but it's pro it probably has been worse. Um I wanted to go ahead and also put this out. Cola had just uh, posted this 19 minutes ago, and this is a clarification on like her relationship with Kim because a lot of people are questioning, like, we ain't never seen you with Kim. She said, when I say friend, please remember that uh, English is my second language. I'm not claiming that Kim Porter and I were besties. No, we met once at a charity event and had dinner. We chatted by phone over the next two years. We never, uh, we were never close, but I believe everything Kim told me about her abuse and that she worshiped Diddy. So that's what she's saying. So again, take it how, how you want it, but this is what, you know, she was claiming that Kim told her, um, over the phone and stuff. So, uh. I've always felt like, because it, that kind of made me question, but then I also wonder, was Kim able to be out and like live her life? I've always felt like even though Kim wasn't directly with um, Diddy, you know, obviously he was with Cassie and everything like that, but was she able to, you know, go out, have friends, you know, and really like, Besides Kamora Lee Simmons, I never re remember really seeing Kim, like, out. You know what I mean? Like, any appearance out in public, Diddy was somewhere near. He was around the corner somewhere or something like that, right? I never remember Kim, you know, doing red carpets or events by herself, really. If she did it, if she was by herself or photographed by herself, Diddy was somewhere near. I never remember seeing her do her own thing. Again, some people might say, oh, well, she didn't really like the spotlight, blah, blah, blah. But I still feel like 
she wasn't really free. Again, the home that she had, he bought. That wasn't just, you know, a home she went out and purchased. That that was through him. And when somebody is, you know, paying you money and keeping you kind of like some kind of separate wife, do you really have real freedom? So I feel Kim might confine, uh, you know, confide it in a stranger, essentially. Just like I'll be sure, I'll be sure has made claims that Kim was trying to run away or get away from someone, and she and he said call the FBI. And he's alluded to more recently, like yeah, Diddy did some stuff to Kim, and and he allegedly got me in this coma. So you never really know. Hmm. Mm. Right, Russell Simmons, yep, he's accused of the same. Yeah. Catching up on some of your comments. And I don't know if Jean Dill did say that. I, I would have to go back and watch his videos. I did see your comment, Jelly, but I don't know if he did or not. Um, uh, you know, actually, I can look that up real quick. Hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Because, I mean, Gene sa says a lot, so no telling. But I can't think of a video off the top of my head. That's what I actually mean. Uh, Kim Porter. Let me see. Okay, let me play this. This is from the Art of Dialogue. Kim Porter, do you know anything about her book? Because there's always been a rumor for a while now that, you know, she got killed because she was exposing a lot of stuff in her book. Is there any truth to that? Unless they can hide some, uh, unless she did her book on Google Duel and it's in the clouds and they could get somebody to get it out of there, she ain't got no book. It's just a conspiracy. You know, I've always felt like the book was a conspiracy too. Um, because the thing is, I don't think she would have been allowed to make a book. I don't even think she would have told anybody she was making a book if she was going to do a book. Because knowing the implications and things that would happen. Granted, Misha only spoke out because the boys were hemmed up by, you know, Homeland Security. But Misha hasn't came out and said, oh, Diddy is innocent. She was talking about the boys. I paid it. Remember, I, we talked about Misha when she was talking about how the lawyers are going to investigate and look into it. Don't forget about that. What's up, Carol? It was alleged that she did have a book and that her book was about to come out and she was talking about all the perils, everything that she went through in the music business and with Diddy. All the men that they slept with together, because oh. there were men that they slept with together. There were swinging times that they slept with together. Mm. I don't know, man. How do you put your girl through some shit like that? Or how do you look at your girl and knowing that she sexing another dude? You, what, where your, what kind of demonic mind you have to have to be 
that far gone where that don't bother you for somebody that you love. But Kim Book was going to express all that. And I hope she did her book on Google Docs or she did her book somewhere that is floating in the cloud of the internet that somebody could go get it one day. Okay. I'm going to stop it right there. Here's my thing about Gene, because at first he said that was just a conspiracy. And then now all of a sudden he all like, yeah, I think that, you know, there's probably a book floating out in the cloud. It's either there's a book or there's not a book. Like you can't be going back and forth with a book and not a book. Come on now. Come on, Gene. But again, he's a legend. Yeah, he, she, basically, the same stuff he had Cassie do, that's the stuff that Kim was doing, too, allegedly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, uh, that's wild. And again, no telling, like, with all his, you know, baby mamas and stuff like that, they probably have all done some things. The only one I can think of who might be safe is Misha because she was like the first. But other than that, Kim, Sarah, um, the new, I don't know. I know the baby name is Love, but I don't know what her actual mom name is. Um, the new baby, I can picture he all had them do some shit like that. And that's why 50 is making fun of, you know, his, his, uh, his baby mama Joy because he's all like, oh, you you know, he making fun of the whole sex worker thing. But, I mean, if you know this man does all of this in the industry and you still want to be with him, like, come on. And like I said, Young Miami, yeah. Young Miami, she, as far as rapping, I don't think she's making money from rap. So believing that this guy is cashing her out money and stuff like that to be his little um, well, shit, basically a madam. That's what, you know, the paperwork basically said she was a madam. I can see that. That's a quick come up. I mean, I'm not going to say that Carisha, a.k.a. Young Miami, isn't a celebrity. She is a celebrity. But as far as talent, mm, no. No. I think she had some with the Carisha Please thing, but I don't even think that's coming back. You remember she had that talk show? I don't think that's coming back at all. Yeah, at that point, at this point, any ties with Diddy, uh, with Carisha, nah. I mean, her career hasn't been the same since all these allegations and stuff like that. You really haven't seen her out. I think she put out some new music. Did y'all listen to it? I take that as a no because I definitely didn't listen to that shit. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, mm -hmm. I think also too, she has to be quiet. Talk, going back to Young Miami, she has to be quiet because this is still something that's being investigated. So she has to be quiet. She don't want to incriminate Diddy or probably incriminate herself. Now, that's why I was surprised when Cuban Gooden Jr. did that interview where he spoke out. I didn't talk about it on YouTube, but I did mention something on Facebook where he had originally had spoke out against, um, whatchamacallit, the, the little rod allegations and he was all like nah i just pulled up on the boat and you know he just basically never minded like it was nothing and i kind of believe him i kind of believe like the picture um the freeze frame of like him having his arm around little rod it looks a certain way but i can't say he was trying to grope him or do anything now cuban gooden jr is definitely you know, a freak. We know that. And we know about his allegations and, and hell, some charges that he had. We know all about that. 
So that's no question. But in that Little Rod case, I, I can't say for a fact, like, oh, yeah, he was definitely trying to get at Little Rod and stuff like that. Can't say that, no. Yeah, but he's definitely a creep. Yeah, creep. Yeah, weirdo. Right, all that. He's definitely a creep. But all right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Let me know what you guys think about what Cola said. Um, again, it was a lot. I do believe that Diddy does have his girls do uh, humiliation rituals and, humil and things to humiliate them to show his power. Um, especially who wants to admit that they did some shit like this? I'm going to embarrass you so then you don't want to say it again. Another power move, right? Uh, yeah, it's a lot. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections. I appreciate you guys for being here. Um, again, praying for all the victims, survivors. Uh, please, if something is happening, please tell someone. Please tell someone or try to get help. Love y'all. Be safe out there. Deuces, everybody. Bye.